Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing another haul video of stuff that we've picked up at yard sales and estate sales and there might be some thrift store stuff in here too that Robert Robert had to have eye surgery. It wasn't surgery. It well, was shot, shot it with a laser. Yeah, he had laser eye treatment last week. So he had to go to a town like an hour away from us and he hit a couple of thrift stores there. And but, it's, up. But, but it's not LASIK. It's just I had cataract surgery and it got cloudy. So they hit it with a laser and they clear the film off and now I could magically see all better. Yeah, and he's got to do the other eye too. His son hit him when he was little in one eye and it caused a cataract. He was crawling over top of me and bumped me with yeah, his foot. Yeah, like two years old. And then... Robert does martial arts and somebody accidentally lost control and bopped him in the eye and he got another trauma cataract on that eye. Yes, it was a, as a young, he was Alex, he was like, I don't know, 18 or something and he was always very slow and he didn't like to spar and he hardly did anything, but I hadn't sparred with him for a couple months and then apparently in that two months he decided to become like super ninja warrior and go crazy sparring and I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> But, you know, that, that happens. So, I've got some of that in here. But let me show you some of the non-plush, since it's just kind of taken up all kinds of space here. I had to get this. I think, yeah, it's Teleflora. But I just had to pick it up. I want to say it was a quarter or 50 cents at a yard sale. I love picking up mugs. For the most part, they are long tail. But you usually can get them quarter 50 cents and list them for 15 20 and like my last haul video 170 or more. Robert picked this up at an uh, Goodwill $3.99. It says Robinson Rands Bowling. Bottom. Rands Bottom Pottery. Big O. Heavy, heavy platter. And how much was this worth? I can't find it now, but I want to say it was like 25 But he gets to pack it, right? Absolutely. And then he picked this up. Do you remember how much you paid for it? A dollar. It was a dollar, yeah. It says on the bottom, Fagor, plaque steel, gas, electric, vit vitro, and, and induction. It looks like a little pressure type canner. How much was this worth? I... I was just looking it up and you, you got ahead of me before I was up. ready but it looks like is that a six liter maybe yeah probably um somewhere in that neighborhood uh 30 40 50 so oh, for a dollar if you pick up stuff at a yard sale and it is heavy check it check it he paid three dollars for this at a yard sale it says it is a marsano Marsana 1200 and it is a vintage sound machine. It says surf rate, surf range, rain, waterfall. Look at that. That is definitely old school. And do you remember your comps on this? Uh, it, there's one for 60 with free shipping, 48 plus shipping, 60 with free shipping, 60 with free shipping. So probably like $40 plus shipping. Or $15 on auction. Oh, don't do auctions. Don't do auctions. And it will easily, I think, fit in a large priority box. <sighs> we got this at a yard sale. We went to it earlier this year. And we bought a whole bunch of things. It was in a quarter box. And they just oh, gave it yeah. to us for, uh, not the one at the 127, but... It's down the road from us here, and there was a whole bunch of little toy items that we picked up for a quarter each, and then they, they said, oh, just, you can have $5 for everything in that bucket or whatever it was. Yeah, and, and it's all that Ninja Turtle. We talked about this in my Facebook group. I have a, like, four sandwich bags, and I'm almost positive all of it is vintage Ninja Turtle. Just time, people, time. I don't have it. And then Robert picked this up. You know, we love to pick up the vintage small appliances. This is a brew starter GE coffee maker. I'm trying to see in the end. Oh, it's just going to need some cleaning. It's got the carafe and everything else. How much do you think? I don't even know how much you paid. 
Oh, look, Goodwill, four ninety nine. Fifty plus shipping. Fifty plus shipping. For the whole thing on this one, I got yeah, this to do the whole thing. Yeah, I probably will keep this together. If it doesn't work, then of course, I'll part it out. But for the most part, if if I buy something like this in the box and it sells for something like fifty dollars, I may keep it together. We stopped another bonus yard sale yesterday that we hadn't really been planning on stopping at. This is the first thing Robert knows to go look for these. These are good. They're just, well, these I've not seen before, but look how adorable they are. They're hot pads. Just very cute. This one does seem to have some discoloration. I'll have to do some more research on these. But these I tend to buy anytime I see them and then I make lots. The more elaborate the detail, the better they do. But more, I'll probably list all of this. Look how nice this one I like. All of this for probably $25 to $30. And I think you paid $2 for the pile? Yes. You don't normally get these though, do you? I I've seen... never seen that, those wooden ones. That almost looked handmade, but it looked interesting enough to, mm -hmm. it was with the pile, so. Yeah. Then this was a dollar. I think, I forget what it's called. I'll do some more research. But it's got these, like the inside is bumpy on um, and Robert said this was like $15 or so but again he gets to pack it I'm doing I'm doing my Kevin the Commonwealth picker thing I have bought Tupperware for years so I can't really say that but he's more known for picking up uh, Tupperware this was two dollars. The cups seem to be in really good condition. Definitely look vintage. So I'm hoping maybe twelve, fifteen dollars for them. And then I can't really show all of it, but all of this is vintage Tupperware pieces and parts and lid replacements. I've never seen these. They're um like for sippy cups but it was just a whole bunch of stuff and I paid five dollars for the whole bag I'll probably lot all the lids together and then maybe the the accessories all together there's you know scoops and cups and you know just cookie cutters just a whole bunch of stuff but this was in there also and then all right here I think this goes in here. So I'm kind of glad I saw this and then this because I think this is like a lettuce lettuce holder bowl and I paid a dollar for it. And then Robert grabbed this. It was $5, but look, they're nested inside. But I think, are they plastic? They feel kind of sort of plastic. There's a melamine version. Yeah. But there's also a ceramic version of that set. I'm that... trying to see. There's four, and all four of the canisters are in here. And you They're know, I'll... Neil the Frog from Sears. You know, maybe it's as popular as the mushrooms, but probably not. But still, how adorable is that? Anywhere, depending on your comp, is 15 to 80. Yeah. So, and then the ceramic one, I saw one comp went over $100 for it, for the ceramic set. Yeah. This but is, I would rather do this for 80 than the ceramic set for, 100, for over 100 because it's simpler. Yes. Yeah. And this will be where I'll start with Terapeak, see, see what's been happening over the past year, and then maybe use Worth Point to see longer how it's been doing. They're heavy, though. Very Before heavy. And then this. I paid... Two dollars for it, but look, it's it's still sealed. I don't know when Aladdin came out, but this probably came out because look, it's the cassette sound and story theater. So it's going to build up this like diorama type thing. I didn't even check comps because two dollars sealed toy. So I have to pick on your pronunciation. Why? What did I say? Theater. Theater, right? Yes, I watch way too much YouTube, and people were talking about the way things are pronounced here compared to how they were pronounced in I think they were in England and theater. somebody said theater 
and they said, wait, we watched another video where they said theater, and I thought they were joking, but people really pronounce it that way, because I guess it's supposed to be theater. Theater. Theater, yeah. and said, apparently they think we're a bunch of, I don't know who's over here, rednecks or something, I guess, but... <laughs> the, and so, I assume, which way? Theater or theater? No. Theater. Theater. See, I'm already confusing myself. Theater, a ter or theater. We have these discussions quite often. Sometimes Google has to get involved. And Google lies sometimes. No, she does not. Robert grabbed some more shoes. They Wait, were two dollars. Two dollars each. Yeah, that was at the Andrew Johnson's Women's Club, I think, wasn't it? No, that was at no, the, that was at that, was was at that lady. Sale. Yeah, yard sale. These are Clark's. I'm doing really well, like fifteen to twenty-five dollars. And these are those born of concept box. But look how cute they are. Again, two dollars. She had some Chaco sandals there, I think. Mm -hmm. She said she had them for forty, but she'd take twenty. And I, I don't know that they would sell for tons more than that. But then she's got these. I guess to her lesser known for mm -hmm. two bucks that we could sell for fifteen and we twenty dollars. We love Clark's. Day. Love Clark's. We did our meetup last night, and Grin and Grandma and her husband Terry also showed up. I guess she had made comments in my live that she was going, but I missed it, so I didn't even know they were coming until she sent me a message saying they were running late, which they beat us anyway. But I guess they picked this up yesterday and gave it to me. But look how cute. And it's that nylon, and it has a tag. It says... Designed exclusively, collections, etc. I'm trying to see if there's any. It has an RN number on there, so I'll look that up. I put that in my Facebook group this week. If all you have is an RN, I put a tool in the Facebook group um, to show you how you can figure out who the manufacturer is. But I just thought that was adorable. I don't. Eh, yeah, it might fit in a large priority box. I'm hoping, I don't know, 20 bucks, $25 for it. I paid up for this. This is $10, and I wasn't going to do it at first. I, th I think he's that Bim Zip Zippy something or other. But he's by Superior Toy and Novelty. But when I looked up comps, he's anywhere from like $30 to $50. So I went ahead and picked him up. But, and I made a post about this, or no, I talked about this in the Facebook group. Um, just because it's rubber face doesn't always mean that it's going to be a bolo that you need to pick up, especially if you're paying up. Um, I think Beth had made a post about Stife. She found a Stife and got all excited at a thrift store because she found a Stife. Well, it was more modern and really wasn't worth very much. And the same thing this week. I had a rubber faced monkey, but it was only worth about $12. So just because it's rubber face, definitely do your comps. But I think because he's in great condition, I went ahead and got him. And, you know, even at 30, that's a really good um, profit margin for a vintage plush. Especially with Q4 starting up. He's probably going to get bought up this year for Christmas. Yep, he's not going to last very long. Same yard sale. I think this was a dollar. It's Russ Beer Bearberry. Purple, of course, I had to buy it. They're not worth a whole lot. Probably 8 to 12. Now, I can't say I've had him before. This is Ty Pluffy's. You know, I just... The turkey video had the lamb that's worth like about $50. I'll have Robert Google lens this one. He's from 2006. I pick up all of them. Sometimes they're bread and butter, but sometimes they're worth quite a bit. Especially if it has its tie tag, which this one does not. More shoes. Clark's. I think this was from that same yard sale, right? It was. So I think monkey? we paid one or two dollars for it. Bass Weegens. We've picked these up in men's, but I haven't done women's shoes yet. These definitely look women's to me. So very cute. I'm hoping 15 to 20. And then I've talked about this Earth Spirit. We do really well comfort shoes do well for us and these are in really good condition talk about weighted plush 
I looked at this at a yard sale and I laid it back down and the lady was like, if you'll take it, it's free. So I went ahead and took it. This thing is heavy. No lie. Probably, what, six, seven pounds? Heavy. The yeah. body is weighted beans up here. And then this is like squishy, but heavy, thick. Rock, there's no writing anywhere. Nothing on the neck. I think she's actually, I don't know, backwards maybe? No writing anywhere. Her face has lots of paint wear. Robert Google lends this, and a lot of people were calling these dolls for Reborn, so maybe that's her potential market. Um, I think she's backwards. Look. Yeah, her uh, arms turn. Yeah. What does Reborn mean? Educate reborn me on that. means there are artists out there who take a plain doll and they make them so lifelike that, I mean, they look real. And some of them sell for thousands of dollars. Now, you see a lot of, like, dolls at, like, flea markets and yard sales and stuff that kind of sort of look. But these feel and look like a baby. For real. And they're called Reborns. Especially They've, those. These were especially with, with they had silicone clippers. Yeah. And this is some kind of, it it's, is rubbery. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Maybe auction just because I couldn't, I didn't see anything. There's no writing anywhere on her that I can tell. But there you go. Creepy doll for sure. So I look this up. Yep. The this monkey. Baby Dangles. Oh. No. I may have had Dangles before, but not but blue. Not, but not Lieutenant Dangles from Rainbow 911. <laughs> her. One of her boys wants to dress up as Lieutenant Dangle from for Rainbow Halloween. For Halloween, twenty-two, still goes out trick or treating with friends. He doesn't trick or treat. He just goes to the Halloween parties. Yeah. But uh, twenty to fifty used, or a couple of sold for one hundred and twenty or thirty new. You're kidding, oh, y'all! It needs a bath though, so that's where that's where he's going to head first. But yeah, I. Dangles is usually brown, but he's blue. Yeah, there yeah. were a lot of brown ones. Yeah. And I think they were less in price. I picked this up. It was $5, but I picked it... I hear rain. I picked it up because I've seen Kayla, homeschooling picker, pick these up. So I thought I'm going to check and see. But this one's huge. Somebody was using it for a sewing box. So it has some stuff in there. I didn't even open up to see what's in it, though. Ooh, I could be lucky. And a pile of cash. Let me yeah, pile there. of cash right there. Highly doubtful. Maybe a single gold coin. What's in it? Lots of scissors that we could use down Ooh, here since you're always losing them. I know. Holy heck. At first thought, I thought maybe these are Avon, but I picked these up. They were 50 cents each. I'm going to keep them together, but they're like, I think, doorknob covers. But I just thought they were cute. Very Christmassy. Definitely vintage. I'm hoping like maybe $12.95 or something for the three of them. I picked this bag. Look, it's $3. But, y'all... Yeah, this is vintage, very vintage Christmas wrap. And I think, like this one, oh no, it's still open. Oh, look how adorable. I don't know if I'll keep them together, but there's just a lot of gift wrap. And somebody who sets up like Christmas displays might want this type of stuff. Oh, this one's still sealed. Look at that. It's even still got the original. I don't know. I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe like 20 bucks for this. We'll have to see. But I love, look at the picture. Season's greetings. Very, very nice. And then the rest of them, hopefully they're not all cut up. And I will just make small lots for them also. Tackle box itself goes for twenty-five to fifty dollars. There you go. 
then I'll just take everything. It needs clean, but yep. Picked this up yesterday. I did that one video where I actually showed footage, and there was a Corvette or something rewinder that was missing the adapters, and somebody had said I should have picked it up anyway. So when I saw this yesterday for a dollar, I went ahead and picked it up. We haven't tested it yet, but it's a Kenyo video cassette rewinder. I'm thinking probably 15 maybe 15 to 20 dollars for it if it works if not i probably will still list it for maybe 10 dollars for parts or repair or we could uh go back by the lady that had the corvette for sale and see if she still has it and take this cord and use it with the corvette because they probably use the same cord i don't know don't know all right paid i want to say a dollar for this but look it's Lion King, Snapback, Disney, not sure how old it is, but just thought, you know, maybe it's worth $10 or so. And then a few more plush. I always grab these and I put them in small lots and they tend to do really well, especially heading up into Easter probably like three or four of them I would list for 15 to 20 dollars um, and it's the the bunnies also I'll just make usually lots of them and then this is Kohl's Cares I sold out almost all my Kohl's Cares last year during fourth quarter so I'm been trying to pick up as many as I find I do not know who this is too it's oh it's Nancy Tillman you're here for a reason is the elephant the book that it goes with I always grab these especially if they have clothes this is I think Mattel magic nursery is it Mattel I'm confusing myself now yes Mattel magic nursery I don't know 80s or 90s she does have her original outfit or an outfit because it does say magic nursery right there probably she needs a bath but probably I'll list her maybe 12 12 to 20 dollars but and she's the type I will throw her in the washing machine but her head's going to be full of water when I'm done and I just keep shaking her and setting her until all the water drains out I loved this this is the last thing I'm going to share with this one applause and usually applause oh, I've got glasses I'm prepared. Yes, I have the old lady strings because I like to hang them around my neck so I don't lose them. But then I still lose them because I take them off. And you're an old lady. So. Yes. He's called the Huggable Hair Applause 1987. I have found him a couple of times, but never in purple. Look how cute he is. Again, applause, probably going to be bread and, wa bread and water. There we go. You're going on a bread and water. Uh, probably like 12 to 15 dollars all right terrible storm going on in here I hear the rain pounding um that's it this is two videos for us lots of stuff to share lots of variety not just plush like sometimes when I do my goodwill bags it's a lot of plush and some toys so you see the variety of stuff we're picking up right now especially shoes and clothes we're not picking up as much because we have a lot to get listed and then I second guess myself and think, ooh, maybe we should be picking up everything we can because yard sale season's going to end and that's when we start working on our death piles, right? M me, it's death room because, yeah, it's everywhere. But it's organized chaos. All right, we all need to get to work, so let's get to it. Bye.